Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me again. You'll have to excuse the uh, scenery in the background, that's my clothes horse that my uh, sports equipment usually hangs on when it's washed and I haven't put it away, so please uh, ignore that. First thing I want to do is apologise for my absence over the last couple of days. We've had a bit of an emergency in our family and uh, without going into too much detail, because I won't, we've got a very, very, very poorly relative and uh, my, my time has been taken up with obviously family and at the end of the day, they come first out of everything else. So all I'll ask you to do is just pray. Uh, that's all I can really say with that one. Well, what I want to talk about today is council tax. We've got a budget coming up at the end of the month, haven't we? And we're all worried about what they're going to do to businesses, what they're going to do to individuals with their tax affairs and everything else. And there's this thing about council tax because all of these councils all over the country think that they can raise additional revenue by raising council tax. But people who are not in the know have difficulty paying this in the first place. And they don't know the correct uh, legislation or correct rules that they can rely on to try and help this situation. And when people fall behind, you end up with bully boy tactics. You will pay this or else uh, we'll send the heavies round or you could end up in jail or anything else. But the, the councils themselves are verging on incompetence. And I want to tell you a couple of stories right now. Number one, there's this uh, person that I know who paid his council tax every, every month without fail, did it manually. And all of a sudden gets a reminder from the council saying, you've missed a payment. Well, I haven't missed a payment actually. So what are you talking about? Anyway, continues to pay. Gets another reminder through, you've missed a payment. No, I haven't. And then a little while later, something else comes in and he's told, you've lost your right to pay your council tax by monthly instalments. So we're going to demand the sum of £1,200 all up front in seven days' time. If you can't do that, then you're in the shit. And we get into the fake court summonses and all the rest of it. It really is ridiculous. Anyway, this individual writes to the council and says, what I want is a summary of what you were expecting and what you've received. Right, so we get that. And we look at what they were expecting and what was received. And they're claiming that this particular council tax account is £256 in arrears. But when you look at the statement that I had put in front of me of what they were expecting and what they were received, and then you check the individual's bank account for what they've actually paid in, it's not £256 in arrears, it's £7. So they're threatening all sorts for that. Total and utter incompetence. I mean, Thanet District... Ca Did I say that? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. A slip of the tongue there. Well, here's uh, another story for you. There's a friend of mine... Uh, who I've mentioned many times on this channel, worked very hard for years and years. And all of a sudden, you know, through no fault of his own, his, his health has started to fail physically and mentally and everything else. And he's effectively on the scrap heap of life, you call it. He's just taking each day as it comes, uh, you know, doing what he can to get by. And he's got the support of me and some other friends. But one of the things you do when your life changes that dramatically, you end up accruing some arrears, including council tax. Now, my friend has various issues like uh, mental health, depression, physical ailments such as arthritis, can't actually write because his hands shake, tremble when he tries to do stuff. It really is, uh, you know, horrible to watch, but all you can do is support. Well, I said to my friend that the council have a mechanism, a Section 13A mechanism, whereby you can apply for a 
uh, discretionary discretionary reduction in your council tax. Oh, really? So he writes in and explains his circumstances. And they wrote back and said they want proof of a duck's arsehole. Quite literally. Now, if you have a look at this picture here, you can see this big list of uh, income and outgoings and everything else that they want to know to justify this. They know he's on benefits. They know his situation. They know he's incapable of working and everything else. Yet, they send this big load of gumph. It's obviously designed to put the person off pursuing it any further because, cruelly, they want their council tax. And again, Thanet dis... Oh, I shouldn't... I should stop saying the name of the council. It's not very nice of me, is it, really? But there you go. Now, it, this is all over the country. All over the country, stories like this come up and they're using bullying, horrible tactics to, you know, prize this money out of people and they get themselves in all sorts of trouble, individuals across the country, and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do and these leeches rely on that. Now, there's some things that I really have that are questions. Number one, when you get a council tax bill, it says, right, a percentage goes to fire, a percentage goes to police, blah, blah, and it breaks down where your money is going. Now, I have to ask, is that where the money's going? I would like to know when you pay your council tax, where is it? The other thing, when they send you something through, it's a demand for payment. It's not an invoice. Now, I'd always accepted that because you always think, oh, local council, statutory authority and all that sort of thing. But if you look at Companies House and you type in your council name, they will come up as a limited company on Companies House. So why is that? Are they a company, a trading business, or are they a local authority, a local government body? What's the difference? So what I'm trying to get at is if they're a business trading, shouldn't they be sending an invoice rather than a demand for payment? Shouldn't there be agreed terms of service if they are a business instead of a demand for payment? This is all stuff that other people have said on other channels. But if you sit down and really look at it, start to think about it, you think something don't add up here. Something don't add up here. I'll, of course, let you know about what happens with my friend and uh, the other matter as well. And uh, I'll update you in due course. But... Do not let them bully you. It's not only uh, council tax. You've got your other utility bills and everything as well. Do not let them bully you. Because it will cause so much up here. And, uh, you, you know, we end up slaves to the system. It really is awful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Your experiences as well. I've got to have a comment readout video at some point very soon. I've, I've been a bit neglectful of those lately, and apologies for that. Again, family and everything. It's uh, It's been a tough week. It's been a tough week. And as I said at the beginning, all I can ask is that you pray. Just pray. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Toodaloo.